I think we have um, the kind of commitment and curriculum and philosophy that not only allows us but encourages us to teach to the heart of a child, um, that encourages us to do whatever it takes to communicate the truth of the gospel to our students. And because we have the smaller class sizes, we can, the teacher can look at the individuals and the dynamics of the class and make sure that the curriculum is meeting those children's needs that are in their classroom. I feel like we all have the same goal as teachers, um, and that is to teach our children not only academics, but also just how to love and how to live a life worthy of the calling that they've received. I would call it gentle learning, you know. It just seemed like a very nurturing place where um, academics are not sacrificed, but it's done in such a way that um, the kids want to learn. What has made a difference for him is that he's excited about learning. He's excited about um, going and learning about the Lord. He's excited about learning new things. Parkview Christian School is a covenant community that exists as an extension of the Christian home. PCS strives to develop lifelong learners in a Christ-centered atmosphere that mature in their love for God and others, gain excellence in character, and pursue all of God's truth. the gospel into classroom learning here at PCS any way I can. Um, I figure my day or my week or semester has been a success if a student asks me, wait, is this history or Bible? To have a teacher talk about Jesus, to have a teacher know how to lead a child into knowing that they're a Christian and then to build on that every single year. The teachers are so equipped to love our children into Christ and His kingdom. And I look at that as a partnership with us. And I know that my child was prayed for, was cared for, was seen as an individual with strengths and weaknesses. Parkview Christian School is not just made up of students and teachers. We are a community of Christian families who work together in partnership for the education of our children. We seek to encourage and pray for one another, meet each other's needs, and provide support to the faculty. I wasn't comfortable sending her to a place all day long and not being part of it. I wanted to be able to be part of her education. I wanted to see her grow. I wanted to know what she was learning. I wanted to know where she was strong and where she was weak. And it was important as us, as a family, to be able to go through that process with her. We didn't want education to be something she did. We wanted it to be something we did. One of the greatest things that we've experienced here is um, making friends with the families that our children are going to school with. And we have some lifelong friends here. Um, and my children have lifelong friends here. And it's just a special place. It's a special community. Um, and I feel like that's been a blessing. And it's nice to be a part of a small community. It feels like a church in a way. Our approach to education is to educate the whole child, not just academically, but spiritually, emotionally, and socially. Here at PCS, what I've felt the freedom to do in my classroom with my students is to take the time to go to the heart of an issue, whether it's an issue on the playground or um, an issue in subject matter. When I get a report card, I'm always amazed to see how well the teachers know my children and they, they know their strengths and weaknesses 
and maybe even some things that I don't see that um, God uses to point out things um, to us. We place a strong emphasis on the study of the natural world. The beauty and order of creation are used to demonstrate not only academic principles, but spiritual truths as well. The study of butterflies leads us into, once again, all the disciplines. We measure them, we use math, it makes the things we do in a regular class meaningful. They have a purpose then. You know, there's a purpose for measuring things because then we chart and growth, the growth of the caterpillar from a tiny egg that, you know, we can hardly measure with using centimeters to watching it grow day by day and, and measuring it, recording our findings writing stories about caterpillars, um, of course, observing how they change and are transformed from one thing to another, great lessons in being transformed in our lives by both the things we study, by the Holy Spirit, by all the things that are changing us and forming us from what we are now, hungry little caterpillars, into what we will be someday when we join God in heaven. While our foundation is solidly on God's Word, we also draw our scholastic philosophy from many educational mentors, like Charlotte Mason, the prominent 19th century British educator. Well, the Charlotte Mason philosophy looks at the learner as the individual, looks at the learner um, as somebody who is created by God with individual talents and gifts. And so that is really a driving force in our education as we look at how we want to implement our curriculum and our methodology. Education here is different because it is discovery learning and at the same time is from God's perspective and in every single facet, whether it's memorizing a poem or talking about the planet, um, it is from a perspective that he can take with him beyond his eighth grade year here. Some distinctive qualities of Parkview's educational philosophy are smaller class sizes, shorter days for younger students, classic literature, artist, nature, and composer studies, Shakespeare for all ages, and comprehensive report cards. We've made our closest friends through Parkview Christian and we have like-mindedness. I'm not saying everybody thinks the same, but the people that we've met here, we have a like-mindedness of how we want our children to be lifelong learners and to grow to love Jesus and to follow Him. <laughs>